Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to look at this eco worthy 120 watt foldable solar panel that I picked up to use exclusively on my Jeep when I'm out camping in the backcountry to keep my battery charged up because I'm running my 12 volt cooler and stuff. I think a 120 watt foldable solar panel will be fine. So let's have a look and see what this thing says. So the solar panel is four times 30 watt panels, 120. This is a complete kit that comes with everything to get you set up and going. There is no need to buy any extra accessories for this. It's ready to go right out of the box. My first thoughts, out of the box, it's very small and compact. Folds up nice, it's got that little pouch on the side where your controller and cables are. You can either charge your battery via the battery clips or it's got another attachment that you could plug into like your laptop or a solar generator or something. So here's the charge controller right here. What's nice about it is that it has two USB ports so you could charge your phone, or any other small devices. Those are your two clips that hook up to the different solar charge connectors that come with it. So what you're looking at is just all the attachments that come along with it. So now let's unfold it and see how it looks. There's a look at the solar panel unfolded. There is a protective layer of film on the panels that you have to peel off first, but I like it. It looks real good. I just got it laid out on the table with my ATV battery just to do some testing. The plugs only go one way, so you don't have to worry about screwing up the polarity. So first off with the solar panel just laying on the table, not hooked up to a battery, it's already reading 13.7.5 volts. Now to get into the settings, you hold that down. It says it's 31 degrees and the battery is getting 3.3 amps. So inside the zippered folder is the instructions and it's best to read them over because it's defaulted to lead acid battery. You'll have to go through and set it up for whatever battery you're charging. And of course it covers everything else that's in the menu features. So if I measure off the leads, it's saying 13.7 and then 13.6. 13.8, right off the battery. I know I'm charging. So now I'm gonna use this Mac automotive multimeter with the low amp probe. Measure how much current is going to that little battery. And it looks like three amps, 3.2 amps. Gonna do a shade test now just to see if I cut two panels off. As soon as you do that, huge difference. I'm gonna fold this back open. And then I fold this back side up, see what happens. Yep. Now 
Now, of course, in the field, I'm going to do another video on how it actually performs for me. But so far, doing a test on the table outside, I am pretty impressed with it so far. And it's actually pretty cheap to purchase. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.